What's up everybody? This is Chemist Keeps Growing. I'm Chemist and today I'm going to show you all of this. So if you want to find out what's in these boxes, stick with the video. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas because it is that time of year and that is the reason why I have all of these boxes. What you might be thinking is, how did this come about? How did I end up with all of these boxes? Well, let me tell you a little story. This year has not been the year that we expected it to be. I think we all know that, but you know, let's not kid ourselves. However, I made the decision that Christmas would be the focus. With that in mind, I was thinking about how am I going to do this? I decided on the menu that I was going to create. I decided on the decor that I was going to have. And I even thought about table settings, which is a clue as to what's in these boxes. You guessed it, they are porcelain. And I will show you them just in a moment. I decided to get this porcelain just because one, it's something that I know I will enjoy and it's something that will bring me pleasure but also it's practical. I can use it for dinner service, I can use it for decor. I decided to bite the bullet, invest in some of the pieces, and I'm happy with what I've got. Now, there's no ribbon on them because I had to open them to make sure everything was okay. I didn't want there to be any surprises on camera with cracked or shattered porcelain pieces, but I can say everything looks fine. So, first thing I'm gonna do is the biggest piece which is this one. Now, this one here is the service platter. Comes in a dust bag. It's the only piece that I've got that actually comes in a dust bag. Everything else comes packaged. There's um, styrofoam, which keeps everything in place. But with the service platter, it doesn't have that. It has a dust bag. Here we go. This is the service platter. It's the small size, by the way, 37 centimeters, and the larger one, I believe, is 42. Now, I decided to go with the smaller one just because I'm seating four people at the most. So, this is big enough for like a duck or a chicken or a joint of pork. There's plenty of space, and you can fit some potatoes or greenery, but more decorative. It's not something where you place a big meat joint and then you have all the trimmings around. It's definitely not that size, but it is big enough for what I want. So I decided I was gonna get this from the get-go because I knew that if I was gonna have a table setting, I needed to make sure that I had a presentation plate as well. So, okay, so these next ones are the bread and butter plates. This range, first of all, is called the Mosaic 024 and in each box you will get a small card like this and it comes in a few different languages. Now, as I was saying, this is the Mosaic 024. Certain pieces will have slightly more detail or slightly less detail depending on their usage. So for example, this is a bread and butter plate, so it's not designed for lots of cutting action which might affect the mosaic tiling detail whereas the presentation plate the detailing was on the edges because you're not really going to be cutting on there you'll be cutting on the actual smooth surface i like the fact that it's very detailed it also comes in two colors it comes in the platinum and it comes in the gold i chose the platinum for the dinner service just because i felt the platinum is a lot easier to use for a regular dinner service Everything can be purchased individually or in pairs. You can purchase more, but when they're boxed, they're boxed in pairs generally. The good thing about this is that you can purchase anything that you like and you can mix and match. And you're not stuck with, oh, I've purchased a whole dinner set and I've got this, these sets of plates that I don't actually like. For me, I think that's a great thing. But the, the downside of something like that is if you're purchasing individual pieces, the cost is a little bit higher rather than if you're purchasing a set. So that's the trade-off, but it does mean that you can get exactly what you want. These are the cereal bowls. What I wanted to draw your attention to 
is this design here. The whole inspiration for this porcelain range comes from this because this is the tiling detail on the floor of the boutique. So when you walk in, it's the first thing that you'll see in Faubourg Saint Honoré in Paris, France. Now, it's got the H design here. It's called the Ex Libris. It has the horse with the Kalesh carriage. So I got four of these. Everything that I got, I got for a place setting of four. This one, I think I know what it is. Yes. This one is the soup plate. If you can see, it's a very shallow bowl. It's similar to a plate. The design detail is on the edge here, on the lip, and then it has on the bottom here, Hermes in small writing. Now with the mosaic, these are all obviously placed by hand. So you can see the slight inconsistencies with the sizes of the mosaic tiles as it were. That's what adds to the character of the piece and it also shows the skill that has been put into it because when you're looking from afar, it looks perfect. But when you look closer, you can see like, oh yes, it has been placed by hand, but it makes it that much more unique as it were. So no two pieces will be exactly the same. This one is the main plate and these are the dinner plates. You don't have the H in the center here because obviously you're going to be doing a lot of cutting and you don't really want to damage that design in the center there. So you've got the mosaic detailing all around the edge and then again on the base here it has the Hermes signature as in the writing here. I got something from the gold range. I do have some gold plates as I mentioned which are these. And you can see the design a lot more, the Ex Libris is a lot more prominent on this. I got this because I just think it's a beautiful plate. I love the gold, although it's not an everyday piece, but again, I think it's something that's great that you can mix and match, and it just gives a little bit of contrast. I have this plate and I have a slightly smaller one. It used to be called the sushi plate, but now I believe it's the small tray, and it's rectangular. It's a small piece, but it's big enough if you want to put a slice of cake or maybe a small dessert macaron or something like that. I've got that and I've got these. Again, everything in a setting of four, but I also decided that I was going to get these. These are rice bowls. Mm. So it's Kuro. <laughs> With these, I got these because I don't want to get exactly the same pieces in the gold that I have in the platinum, but I do need a bowl of some sort. This I thought was good because I can use it for soup, I can use it for rice, I can use it for pretty much anything, to be honest. It can also be used for desserts. I thought it would be good because with regards to this plate, these are more along the Asian style. So if I do make any Asian dishes, these are also quite good, especially with the other small plate that I do have. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you actually was this, which is the cutlery. This isn't Hermes, but I saw this cutlery and I fell in love with it. It's gold. I'm not a big gold person, but I saw this and I thought, you know what, this is actually really nice. So I got this, it wasn't too badly priced. It comes in a setting of six, so you'll get a knife and a fork and a spoon times six. I've got enough for any dinner party that I might host, and I've also got two spare sets if anything does happen. With these being gold, the coloring, you do wanna be careful, especially with acidic food, or if you're letting things sit on the cutlery it may tarnish it so i've got two extra sets for that that is my porcelain um, hermes haul as it were what do you think i'm quite happy with what i've got it's very practical very good for almost everyday occasional use that's the reason why i chose the platinum because it's something that i feel you can use every day i've got these mugs I use them all the time for tea. You've got the cereal bowls, you can have your cereal in the morning with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. The bread and butter plates, you can put your toast on there. So this is something that you can use every day, I feel, but it's not something that I would use all the time. I would keep it a little bit more special and use it on certain occasions as well, especially like the bigger pieces. But the cereal bowls and the mugs, I would use those quite often, I believe. A couple of things with these pieces, as I mentioned before, they do come in individual, but they're boxed in pairs, so do factor that in. You can have a look at all the ranges 
of Hermes porcelain because there are so many different collections that you can mix and match. Mosaico 24, I feel that you could mix and match the platinum version very easily with the Chandonc line, which is very simple port white porcelain with the silver chain, the Chandonc going around the edge of the plates and the bowls. So I think that could work very well. Also, I believe you could mix some of the H Deco line with the platinum range as well because the H Deco line comes in black and white and red and white and I think the black and white could work with the platinum just as a few pieces just to inject a little bit of drama into that table setting. Bear that in mind you can mix and match these are all hand wash pieces once you've used them I would recommend just give them a quick rinse so that you've got any food particles off them and then you can leave them to the side and wash them later but don't just let them sit because you don't want them to stain or to damage. If you do decide to go for Hermes porcelain just enjoy it because it's something that you're going to keep forever provided you don't break it and it's something that Every time you look at it, it will bring you joy because I know every time I look at these pieces, they just bring me joy and I'm so excited thinking about all the different ways I'm going to dress my table. So definitely, I would say look at investing in some of these pieces. And if you are investing, you don't have to buy everything all at once. You can invest piece by piece and that's the great thing about the way that this Hermes porcelain is presented and you can build it up over time so definitely 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 I would say look at investing in some Hermes porcelain but for me I love it it's something I know I'm going to use for a long time to come I hope you enjoyed that and um, if you do have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video take care